thank you sir we are delighted to hear your point on the true meaning of education our chief guest dr n gopal krishnan is among the co-founders of indian institute of scientific heritage which is established in 1999 at present he is a scientist and only director of iash he holds msc in pharmaceutical chemistry msc in applied chemistry ma in sociology phd in biochemistry he is the only scientist who has been awarded dlit for his research and studies in sanskrit he has 28 years of research experience now i invite him to express his views on the topic indian scientific heritage the role of youth Sorry, we'll do it later. You know how much we don't know about ourselves. Thank you very much. Most respected Parambujaniya Swamiji's, my dear young brothers and sisters, and family members, I have been allotted 25 minutes. my ticket fare 7500 7500 divided by 25 minutes each minute cost 300 rupees so i should be very careful in using my words and cutting short every view point what i wanted to present within 2 hours and a half i remember this this place so much in my whole life was once i was fortunate enough to give a lecture here during when i was instructed only 45 minutes lecture plus 15 minutes question answer sharp 7 o'clock it started and it was over by 11:45 only and that vcd i had with me is available outside also last year july 17th and i was traveling from chicago to houston one of the professors from cleveland university he was watching my face and finally he was he opted to talk to me and said i have got a vcd he said you are so is speaking in that i would like to give to you and that cleveland university professor gave me my own vcd and that vcd carries the lecture what i was doing here four years ago in this in this auditorium so my memory till the last breath will be remaining about this auditorium and that lecture given now i would like directly to enter into my speech always remember that we are living here on the surface of the globe here for about 70 years during when we take about 60 tons of food 26500 days we are living here and every day we breathe about 23080 times every breath is taking you towards graveyard and during this period of date of birth and date of death how long you are living is not important how you are living is important and i wish that each and every one of the 112 people sitting here will remember that how long we are living is not important how we are living is important so always try to integrate the good from the modern and good from the old always try to integrate the science and spirituality always try to integrate the experienceable knowledge and experimentable knowledge always try to integrate the physical comfort and the spiritual comfort and always remember that any day the date of death can come if you are giving the corporation office of chennai or your birthplace 25 rupees he will give you the date of birth certificate but even if you are giving 25000 rupees date of death certificate will not be given into your hand so we are not sure when that date is coming so let us live a happy and a worth life and always remember that preparation for living is not life experience of living is life preparation for living is not life experience of living is life and for that experience of living this country has given for the last not less than 10000 years 
the message of integration of science and spirituality. Vidyam cha, avidyam cha, estat veda ubayam saha, avidyaya mrityam tirtva, vidyaya mrtam asnote. Since majority of you are Indians, you might not have heard Sanskrit, I am sure. So, vidyam cha, avidyam cha, what is vidya? Eternal, experienceable, spiritual knowledge. What is avidya? External, experimentable, scientific knowledge. Integrate these two. Vidyam cha, avidyam cha, estat veda ubayam saha. Veda, knowledge, ubayam, two type. Saha, put together, avidyaya, mrityam tirtva. Use the scientific knowledge for overcoming the daily problems and discomforts in our life. And vidyaya, mrita masnute, use the spiritual knowledge for overcoming all these problems by science and then attaining the peace, permanent peace in our life. So India is the country where the science and all the spirituality integrated. Many a times we always ask a question, is it scientific? Always try to ask the question, is it useful? Because many of the things you cannot explain in science. I respect my father, how can you explain in science? I love my wife, how can you explain by science? The respect, the honor, the satisfaction, the contentment, the happiness, the sorrow, the anger, the vex, the ego, all these things you cannot explain by science. If somebody is trying to explain that by science, you will not reach anywhere. And after the discovery of the quantum entanglement, one electron is revolving clockwise and other electron is revolving anti-clockwise. Take the one electron and put in Neptune or Pluto. And if you change the direction of this electron, the direction of rotation of that electron will be changing even though it is one million kilometers away. How you will explain it? Quantum entanglement. Only one word. Intrinsic. Inherent, self-guiding, self-motivating, self-energizing awareness and consciousness is present in every living and non-living system. The Hindus called it as Brahmam. I am sure you could not understand. <laughs> Intrinsic, since you have given 25 minutes, I have to combine everything together within 25 minutes. So, intrinsic, inherent, self-guiding, self-motivating, self-energizing, awareness and consciousness. Awareness, pratnyanam, brahma, consciousness, swabhodam, existing in every living and non-living being. The Hindus called it as brahma. These are not my words. The words of Professor Eric Dean, Professor Ari Wolf, Professor Amit Goswami, the theoretical physicist working in NASA, America, not in India, fortunately. So you can see that the words are available here. So Indian spirituality, always integrate with the science. As Dr. Fridge of Capra said, the science has come to an abrupt end and further moving forward, you have to go through Indian spirituality. That is this Pratyanam Brahma. That is the Aham Brahmasmi. That is the Tattvamasi. Many a times people used to ask the question, Have you seen God? I used to say, we walk together. <laughs> because all the 567 crore people, 657 crore people, every one of them has got their nose down. Who has made it down? If it is raining outside, you, have, you don't have an umbrella. No colleague is there with you. You have to cross this line. Your nose is down. Who has decided that the nose should be down? If this would have been reversed, if it is remaining, what will happen? And you know that when you have got 32 teeth, everyone who has fixed this number 32, who has fixed the number 32? You know 32 vertebra you have got. Who has fixed the number? And always you know that I lips are there here. Your ears are like this. Why not like this? If it would have been like this, what would have happened? And our tongue does not have the skeletal system. Luckily, you can twist anyway. <laughs> so, remember, these are all pre-planned. This body, 1.6 million type of animal, 6 lakh type of plants, 80,000 type of trees, and 1 million type of microorganism. It has got a mathematical designing by itself. Modeling has been done within itself, not from externally. 
So that spirituality is the modern science where we can say awareness and consciousness. Whereas India during then for the last not less than 10,000 years from that period onwards had the mind used as the laboratory, wisdom used as the experimental tool, thinking power was the inference that they could take out of that. And using the mind, using the brain, using the sadhana, using the upasana, they have done the experiment and they could find out the basic principle of science. And many a times people say Heisenberg's uncertainty principle has been discovered by Heisenberg. Have you gone through Padanjali's fourth chapter, sixth line? Eka samaye cha ubhaya nyayena shabda ulpati. Meaning is very simple. Viji, pathway, taranga nyayena, the logic of taranga waves. Shabda ulpati, the sound gets produced by as waves. And the definition for atom, abakarsha padyandam, dravyam paramanu revam. Inferior most particle of a matter is called paramanu. Paramanu iti proktat nani nam drishti gojara. What we call as paramanu cannot be seen by an ordinary man, it can be perceived only by a scientist. So simply they have given it. Yada, yada, hi dharmasya, as given in Bhagavad Gita. Whenever the system in equilibrium is disturbed, the system will adjust itself in such a way that the effect of the disturbance will be nullified. I'm sure that here it is here. So, always, very simple way it has been mentioned. So nicely. Nasato vidyate abhavo, na abhavo vidyate sadaha. Whatever is existing here cannot become non-existing. Whatever is not existing here, it cannot become existing. Energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. Matter can neither be created nor be destroyed. If one form of energy changes, it will appear in another form. Bhagavad Gita, I am sure that Vivekananda study circle, majority of you are Hindus might not have read Gita. So, Vasamsi jirnani yadha vihaya navani grinadi naroparani tadha shrirani vihaya jirnani anyadi samyadi navani dehi. Whenever the energy wants to get shifted, one form of energy changes, it will appear in another form. Beautifully, 5140 BC, 40 years ago, Lord Krishna has told in Kurukshetra. He was mentioning about Kurukshetra in the mind itself. Only one book in the world now taught in Harvard University and also Cleveland University, 186 universities in America, Bhagavad Gita gives the total message in the first line itself. I do not know whether you have read it. Dharma Kshetre Kurukshetra. Take the word two and four left hand side rearrange it. Chetre Chetre Kuru Dharma. Chetre Chetre Kuru Dharma. The last word of MBA. Last word of MBA. When we become MA, we think that we know everything. As he was telling that MA means master of Atyana. <laughs> so, we have to go further for that. And remember that in India, the scientific heritage, Last four years ago when I was stopping my lecture here, concluding that I told, if you ask some question from there to me, if God permits divine permission is available, I will give you the answer in Sanskrit with quotation. So take anything, any subject here, it was existing here, may not be at the level that is existing in 2008 AD, but excellent knowledge. If you have to go through mathematics, remember that the foundation stone of Indian mathematics is in Bhuta Sangya and Kadavayadi number system. If you do not know Bhuta Sangya and Kadavayadi number system, Indian mathematics and Indian astronomy you cannot learn at all. That's important, Bhuta Sangya. Bhuta Sangya is Sangya number system written by Sanskrit words. Nayanam, Akshi, Netram, Karnam, Srotram, Hastam, Karam, Padam. All these can be used for writing two, number two. For writing two, 
These are the Sanskrit words used. Sharadri Ramanala Yojanani Kuvayu Kaksya Paridaha. Sharam means five, Adri means seven, Rama means three, and Anala means three. Three thousand three hundred and seventy-five Yojana is the circumference of the atmosphere of this earth. Hindu 12.11, that much kilometer. Exactly it is given. But we do not know what is Sharam, we do not know what is Adri, we do not know Rama, we know Ramayanam only, and we no, do not know Anala. So unless you know Bhuta Sangya, we cannot give the explanation for number of rotation of earth in one Mahayuga is given in Bhuta Sangya. Vyoma, Shunya, Shara, Adri, Indu, Rendra, Adri, Adri, Shara, Indavaha. 157 crores, 79 lakhs, 15,200 times it rotates in one Maha Yuga. You know when that Yuga starts, Kali Yuga started. I was delivering a lecture in one Kuwaiti school in Kuwait. I asked the students, any one of you, many of you are from India, do you know when Kali Yuga started? Everyone kept quiet. Just like you will also keep quiet if I ask that question. And one student, seventh standard student, with all his courage, he raised his hand and said, I know. I asked, when India, when, when was the Kali Yuga started? Sir, 1947, August 15th. <laughs> he said the same thing. And up to 1947, August 15th, the foreigners destroyed our heritage. After that, we took the responsibility of destroying our culture. <laughs> but literally, Kali Yuga started during 3102 BC, February 17th, Thursday, midnight, 11.55. BC 3102, February 17th, Thursday, midnight, 11.55, Earth, Moon, Sun, Mars, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, came in the same line of Alpha Aries point. That is why the yoga of the planets took place and it became the beginning of the yuga. So Kali Yuga Aramba started. Now our Kali Yuga is 5109th year. Now the running year is 5109th year and that is the oldest calendar in the world. Up to 1820 AD, there was no ADBC in the world. Up to 1820 AD, there was no ADBC in the world. Only KE was there, Kali era. How many of you know? I need not wait for the answer. And Kali era, that was the only age. Even up to 1870, 1870. World over time correction was carried out using Kali era only. And up to 1820, Greenwich line was not in Greenwich. It was passing through Ujjaini. It was in India. After that it was changed to Greenwich. None of the Indians know about it, luckily. So, you can see that. Take every branch of this one. Who has discovered the area of a triangle? Trabujasya Balasariram, Samadala Kodi Bujartha Sambargaha. Who has discovered Payar Square? Samaparinaha Syardam, Vishtambar, the Hadame Vavratabalam. Who has discovered the value of Pi? Up to 17th position. Chaturadigam Sadamashtagunam Dwashasti Stada, Sahasra Nama, Yudadvaya Vishtambasya. Asano sa vrta varina ha. We were taught that it was discovered by Landberg. Aryabhata, one, written his Aryabhatiya during 499 ADs, March 21st Sunday at midnoon. He has completed this book and he has given the value of pi there. And if you are cutting a circle into six points, and the code of that and the radius will be the same. So, Paridehe Shatbhagajya Vishkambhardena Satulya. I am not giving you the meaning of Sanskrit. What is the reason? It is not by mistake. Time is only 25 minutes. Within 25 minutes, if I give the Sanskrit and the meaning, how far I will reach? 
have itself, I am sure that about 15, 16 minutes would have been over. And within this short period, any of take further go about who has discovered sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, secant, cosecant, and cotangent. We think it came from the West. The first theorem written in the world by Pudumana Somayaji in Karanavaddadi, sixth chapter, twenty-eighth theorem of which what I told you now is the sixteenth theorem. Buja or sin theta, Kodi or cos theta, divide it, you will get tan theta. So nice. Who has discovered Grigory's theorem? Vargair Yujamva, Yuganair Nirekair, Vargi Kritair, Vargida Yukma Vargai, Vyasam Jasadiknam, Vibajet Palam Swam, Vyasayatri Nikne, Paridista Dasya. Take an even number, take its square, subtract the even number from that, and take its square, use this value for dividing six times the diameter of a circle, repeat it for 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. And finally, alternatively add and subtract these values through 3 times the diameter of the circle. You will get the finest value for the circumference. I am sure you could not understand it. This is Grigory's theorem. James Grigory discovered it in 1646. And in India, Sangamagrama Madhavacharya discovered it 350 years before James Gregory. And Tycho Brahe's equation, Leibniz's theorem, Euler's theorem, all these theorems we have compiled in a textbook. Luckily, I was fortunate enough to print it in the paper sheet. And 25 sheet of these theorems, I just directly handed over to the mathematics professors in Cambridge University, Oxford University, and 17 American universities, and 11 UK universities. None of the professors said that this is fraud or wrong. They said, we are happy that you have brought out these theorems with proof. That is what they said. I would just like to say that I was told that about few months ago another foreign professors came here and delivered a lecture in which they said Indian knowledge during the ancient period was at par with the knowledge existed in other countries also. I would only request everybody just to, to learn Bhuta Sangya and Kadapayadi number system. It may take maximum half an hour for you. Once you know the Buddha Sangya and Kadavayadi number system, you can interpret all Vadeshwara Siddhanta, all Lallacharya, Shushya Divrati Dandra, Arya Bhatta Siddhanta and Arya Bhatiya, Mahabhaskariya and Lagubhaskariya. Big books. If you read that English translation of that book, I am sure that you will cry. But is the reason? You will not understand anything. That is why you will be crying. So, what is your Siddhanta written during 748 AD? Not 1748 AD, 748 AD, published by Indian National Science Academy, translated by a meritorious professors in mathematics and astronomy. That if you are reading one big book, few people came over to me and asked me, Consider that let us take PhD in this work. Mathematics professor from one of the colleges in Trivandrum. He went through that one. Finally, he came to me and said, Dr. Gopalakrishnan, sir, I am very happy that I have decided not to take PhD from this book. Because I am not in a position to understand anything. So I have decided not to take PhD on that. But I sure as it I would only like to tell you that. The, take the technology part of that. Our Delhi iron pillar, 30 kilograms of the iron, then forge welded at 1430 degrees centigrade to make 21 feet 7 ton weighing iron pillar not rusted even today, even though many of the MPs are staying nearby that. <laughs> it has not rusted. It has not rusted. It still remains as such. No problem at all. 
you think about the dhar iron pillar how much beautiful you might have heard about professor hardock from cambridge university he took one piece of indian wood steel 3 years ago he put that wood steel in the lathe with which he is working in cambridge university he quotes his quotation is that i was so happy that the moment i put the wood steel in the lathe blade the blade broke into two not the wood steel and uh, professor bala subramanyam from iit kanpur has conducted fantastic study of delhi iron pillar the answer is that something beyond the capacity of the modern metallurgist that is that you can see there and always remember that some of these practical applied science ajanta cave temple has got painting we have got painting nerolac painting and asian painting five years guaranteed if you are painting in between once again and <laughs> there you have got a painting which is there for the last 1850 years remaining intact eight colors without fading it is remaining there people started taking the patent of that and remember that ajanta cave temple carved from the rock during a period when there was no electricity no diesel no coal how could they carve in the geometrical pattern 17 chaityas and viharas something wonderful and kanjipuram saree from tamil nadu used to be exported to different countries right from 600 bc 600 bc and any range you can take our sushruta samhita this this got all the plastic surgery the first plastic surgeons meeting was held in 1932 in france and the invocation invocation prayer was nothing but reading the chapter of sushruta samhita and all those who assembled there they stood the folding hand and listened to the sanskrit line on plastic surgery given by sushruta about 700 bc and it has gone from maharashtra taken by george greenle and finley two people have taken from here and further developed by george scorpio in germany and then it went to england and the most unfortunate thing that is the only thing happened in india and socrates was given hemlock poison in a vessel made in india brass and that brass was like gold so they used to consider this as the gold so the greatest man in the world was given this vessel unfortunately and they used to take food using i mean on the brass plate of made in india so our metallurgy our textile science our mathematics our astronomy our plastic surgery our health science no way inferior and remember that why should we learn all these old thing first point for feeling proud that we are indians some of them are not and second thing for applying in our day to day life some of this knowledge and third thing informing the world that we have discovered many things 400 years before sir isaac newton we have discovered gravity akrishti shakti chamahidaya yat khastam guru swabhimugam sashaktya agrishyate tat patati dibhati same samanda kvatatyam ke 1000 years prior to william harvey we have discovered blood circulation ramanyo raktavasinaha chaturvimshati ratita अष्टौल is all numerical values are given for these things the books are available with english translation so we the youth if possible they have to learn it this is not an advice and when i read all these programs conducted by vivekananda study circle 
I found this five methods they are adopting for learning and teaching Vivekananda message. This is 21st century. I would like to request you all and type down the Vivekananda's message. Just read it, record it and take it in the CD, copy it and give it to one billion Indians. Simple. It's not complicated. We are simply using the five methods. It is merely around this IIT. In India we have got 1.1 billion people, no? 110 crore people. Change them. Swami Vivekananda said, and we quote only first part of that. Uttishtada, Jagrada, Pratyavara, Nibodada. Next line is also there. Churasya dhara mishida duratyaya Durgam patastat kavayo vadandi Churasya dhara mishida duratyaya Durgam patastat kavayo vadandi Arise, awake, stop not till the goal is achieved. The pathway is not as simple as you are thinking. It is as sharp as the knife of the barber says the great scholars and uh, I would like to request you any knowledge required to you Indian Institute of Scientific Heritage has brought out 2000 hours of speech in CDs 200 hours speech uploaded not even a single CD or VCD has got copyright 100 books on Indian scientific heritage and cultural heritage. No copyright for any of these things. I wish the members of Vivekananda Study Circle take as much copies as possible and spread it world over. Let IIT, this IIT Chennai become the generator or dynamo like you have got the one in Kalpakam. Let the energy come from here and let it spread throughout. Each and every one of you, let you become an electric post if you cannot become a bulb. So if somebody is giving the bulb, let this electric post put that bulb in the topmost so that whomsoever is coming down, they will be getting the light. Higher the light bulb, the spreading area of light will be maximum. So learn as much as possible. We take nearly 60 tons of food during the period of 70 years. Majority of the cases it is becoming a waste. So, remember that. Whenever we are living, how long we are living is not important. How we are living is important. Always the question, ask the question, why, what, when, where, who, whom, how. Seven questions. And give, find out the answer. Spread it throughout. Go on doing it, Charai Vedi, Charai Vedi, Charai Vedi. We used to pray, Sahana Vavadu, let us exist together. Sahana, I will not take more time, you are looking to the watch. <laughs> Sahana Vavadu, Sahana Bhunaktu, Sahaviryam Karevavahai. The message is there. Let us exist together, let us work together, let us share the result of the work together. And Tejasvina Vatitamastu, let us enlighten ourselves together by working together. Ma Vidvishavahai, let us not have hatred towards anybody. Ano Bhadraha, Kratavo Yantu Vishwadaha, let noble thoughts come towards us from all over the world. Take good from everywhere. Addition, deletion, modification, and correction. Go ahead. And I am sure that every Indian. Everybody who is studying in India will remember that out of the 49 civilizations existed on the surface of the globe here, only one civilization is remaining now. Out of the 49 civilizations existed on the surface of the globe here, only one civilization is rem remaining on the, that is Indian civilization. Out of the nine religions, only one religion has never said, our God is the only correct God, we have never said. Our pathway is the only correct pathway, we have never said. Our literature is the only correct literature, we have never said. We have said, if good is available anywhere, take it. Addition, deletion, modification and correction. And remember that, 
make the life useful, not scientific. Even science is not stable. And science itself is not scientific. That is what I wanted to tell you there. And you know, and in 1930, what was the definition for atom is not the definition 1932. 1937, atomic structure changed. 1983, Stephen Hawking said all whatever you know about the atom is humbug. 1999, the whole thing changed again. 2006, Professor Green in California University and Harvard, both have got the name Green. And when the M theory and theory of everything and the string theory, everything has come, science has become superstition. The most interesting superstition in the world is science. And remember that 562 chemicals used as medicine. I am pharmaceutical chemist, so I can say 562 chemicals used as medicine has got terrible side effect. That's why people are coming to yoga, Ayurveda, Dhyana, Bhagavad Gita, Vedic Mathematics and Yoga Asana and Sanskrit, Neuro-Linguistic Effect and Veda, Indian Dance, Indian Music, Indian Management Principle, Indian Vedic Chanting, Indian Sanskrit is being taught even in MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology and even Indian sambar is being used everywhere now. <laughs> Many people are making sambar and selling. One fellow who was there in Toronto last year when I went there, his name is from Kerala. He is telling, I don't make anything except sambar. 800 liters of sambar per day it is taken by Canadians. <laughs> they live with this sambar, 800. <laughs> so you know that. Many of the Indian things, people are taking it. So we are the proud inheritors of that heritage. I do not want to advocate that, to say that all existed in India is good. No. Some of the negatives were also there. So our aim is to see that Acharya Padamadatte Padam Shishyaswame Daya Padam Sabrahmachari Bhya Shesham Kalak one quarter you take from the old, one quarter you have to make by yourself, one quarter by discussing with others, and the last one quarter by addition, deletion, modification and correction. Since time is limited, if I am crossing the limit, everybody is strictly following that time and I will be available till 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Anything is to be done today, evening, midnight, late evening, I will be available. Some of the books that we have written is available here. Some of the CDs also available. And the Vedic CDs, Vedas, Rigveda, Krishna Yajurvedam, Sukla Yajurvedam, Sama Vedam and Adarva Vedam. In your five programs of activity, first activity is Vedic prayer. Take as many copies of the Vedas and distribute it to all the people. Whether the student is a leftist, rightist or a middle east, don't worry about it. You give to them. Give to them. Don't worry whether he is a Hindu, Christian or Muslim, Indian or foreign or atheist or believer or he has got faith. Because it is the heritage of the world. It is not merely the heritage of Indian. Vasudhaiva Kudambagam. It is not the heritage of Hindus alone. It is the heritage of each and every one living in the world. So give to them. Let them Take the message if they want and if they don't want, let them reject it. They have got the freedom. As Lord Krishna said in Bhagavad Gita, Vimrushe Tadashe Shena Yadha Ichasi Tadha Kudu. Critically and completely analyze it. And if you want to take it, take it. If you don't want to take it, take it. I hope <laughs> I have done justice for 7,500 rupees. I do not have, I definitely have, but my mind is pulling me back that I have to strictly adhere to the time. So all the people who are sitting here with uh, full enthusiasm, I bow my head to each and every one of you. The Swamiji's and all the people who are sitting here, always remember that it is our bound duty, 61 years over after independence, we do not know what India was. 
we do not know what india is we do not know what india will be we are the only country in the world who could launch a 10 satellite in single stretch formerly russia has launched eight satellites we are the people 10 before nobody has broken this record sometimes we may not be getting any gold in the olympics but in this type of thing we are the people who could develop a supercomputer which can process 117.8 trillion mathematical calculation in one second. The name of the computer? ACA. Developed in 42 days in Pune Research Center of Tata Company. We are the people who could lead the world now. Every Thursday, Mittal, Lakshmi Mittal conducts Vishnu Puja and purchases one foreign country, co company, <laughs> steel company. <laughs> Every week is purchasing. And remember, so many, many people, even first time I would like to say, if somebody is from Britain, kindly excuse me, and uh, not for hurting anybody, I only feeling proud that uh, only first time 10 days ago, the King Charles from UK has requested Lakshmi Mittal to donate liberally for his charitable work. A British Premier requesting an Indian for donating liberally for the charitable work. I felt too very happy. Now the prediction in UK is that for about 200 years, British people ruled India. All the possibility is that India ruling Britain in a short period, something like that. This is the prediction came not from me, not from me, it from Britain only. And I'm only quoting you the quotation anybody would like to get, I will send by email to you. And again I will come back, the modern science, modern technology, India is flourishing like anything. Maybe some problem is also there in India. 125 political parties, for morning they have got one opinion, evening they have got another opinion, somebody showing one crore rupees, these are all possible. But with all these, a country which could survive for the last 10 millennia is still there without any problem. And that country is our motherland. Always feel that. You should get happiness in your mind. You should get health for your body. You should see that your family members are strongly bonded. You should see that you are serving the society. You should see that this country is coming in the top in the world because we have always prayed Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu. You have heard any line? Bharatiya Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu. Have you heard this? There is no grammar mistake in that. Haindavaha samastha sujino bhavantu. I am sure you might not have heard that one because we have not prayed like that. Sarve bhavantu suginaha, sarve sandu nidamaya, sarve bhadrani pashyandu. It does not mean that all the people who are working in the survey department should become happy. <laughs> it does not have that meaning. Everyone should become happy. And I am sure that you are also becoming happy. Learn as much as possible. Collect as much information. Convert the information into knowledge. Convert the knowledge into wisdom. Convert the wisdom into experience. The totality of the experience is life. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to the organizers of this lecture, seminar. And whenever I come here next time, without your ticket fare, I would like to assure you that if you are interested, off period, off time, off day, or working day, any question from your side, if I know the answer and God uh, allows me to answer that, I will definitely be with you for spending any number of hours with these words. I would like to express my deepest gratitude once again to each and every one of you. I pronounce to you. Thank you, sir.